Uh, it's hot as balls in New Jersey, and if you hear things, that's because I have the window open, and I'm hot. What's up, fan fans? So, day three of the OTAs is, of course, closed to the public. So what I have for you today is the press conference from four players. Um, first, it's going to be Jordan Phillips, then it's going to be Xavier Howard, then we're going to hear from Rashad Jones, and then McMillan. Um, so... They asked him a bunch of questions. Uh, we got a feel for it. Some of them were about the national anthem. Again, I'll tell you what they said, but you get nothing out of me. So let's get. So we're gonna start with Jordan Phillips. So his press press conference was kind of short. Um, essentially, they asked him about Sue, and he says, "Of course, he's gonna miss Sue. Um, Sue was, you know, the the anchor of that defensive line." He also said that um, the expectation for the guys that are now on defensive tackle position are way higher with Sue gone. Um, he, they also asked him about how he feels about his play and stuff. And he said that his play was really good last year. Um, he, he's growing and he expects great things out of himself this year. Um, and then they asked him about the national anthem and he literally said that his opinion doesn't matter. And then he avoided that question for the rest of his very short press conference. Um, so that's what Jordan Phillips said. Uh, I agree with a lot of what he said is that without Endowment and Sue there, they got a lot of stuff on their shoulders and they have a big burden to carry because Sue was one of the best defensive tackles in the league, but he was being paid too much money. We'll see how Phillips and Gotch and Taylor and Spence do, and maybe Hankins if they sign him after June 1st, even though I really prefer uh, Kendricks. But anyway, let's go on to Xavier Howard. So the first thing Xavier Howard said was um, that he played a lot more press towards the middle to end of the season with the Dolphins, and that's what he played in college. So that's why he had a lot of success when it came to the ass end of the season, is because the, the Burke finally let him do his thing, and Burke finally let him um, play press and cover guys the way he did in college, which the way I see it is if you if you draft a press corner, then you should have him play press. If you cover, if you draft a corner who's really good at zone, then you have zone. Like, I don't understand why Burke, it took him a whole half of a season to figure out that you just have your guy play the best he can. <sighs> If, if the defense sucks this year, and we have a lot of good pieces, he's fired. So he, he was obviously asked about Mika Fitzpatrick, and he was like, that dude was all over the place. He constantly has his hands on the ball, and he's just a great playmaker. Then he was asked about the Patriots game last year. He essentially said that was last year. Um, he doesn't really want to talk about it, but he also said that he needs to achieve more, which is a great thing to hear, that he's not set on his laurels and what he did in that game and he thinks he could be better he actually said he could be the number one corner in the league um and then he also talked about how he didn't watch film in college essentially it was just he played off his athleticism and um now that in the nfl it's like a whole different world so he actually has to start watching film on plays and receivers and stuff and uh he also said that matt burke wants him to start off faster because last year, like I said before, beginning of the season he was kind of slow, whereas at the end of the season he was hot, picking people off, playing great. But it, Burke might say that to him, but Burke also needs to let the man play press, like I said before. He was drafted as a press corner, have the man press. I noticed that a lot last year, is that this defense was playing great when they were playing man coverage, and then they were playing caca when they were playing zone. If you notice one scheme is working better than the other stick to that one scheme now on to rashad jones our all-star pro bowl safety so essentially when he was asked about his goals for the season he said i have no goals he just wants to lead by example and play like he's played the last nine years with the team um i agree you know if you set expectations and goals on yourself and then you don't succeed them then you start beating yourself up just play hard do your thing he said that one of the things that uh adam gase said and it's kind of like a mantra with the team, I guess, this offseason, is get 1% better every day. So every day, you get a little bit better. A little bit better. You get a little bit better every day till you're the best you can be, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. He said that him and TJ McDonald can both play uh, either safety positions, which the jury's out on that one because both of them are in the box safeties. And when it comes to 
playing coverage, there was a lot of blown plays. Um, not saying they can't, I'm not saying they're bad safeties, obviously. TJ McDonald's a good safety and Rashad Jones is a pro ball safety. But can they play both positions? I don't know about that. He also said, someone asked, what was your reaction when the Dolphins took a safety in the first round pick? And, uh, you know, how like Ben Roethlisberger was upset about them taking quarterback in the second. And then there's like players that don't want that competition. He said it was about damn time. Which, yeah, of course, you always want, you want that tandem in the backfield. You want, you know, the two safeties to be like yin and yang. Because then they know, like, look, I'm deep, you, you know. You don't even have to say where to cover, you, they just know already. So they asked him about the National Anthem, he didn't want to talk about it. Um, I'm getting that feeling with a lot of uh, players, is that they, when the National Anthem is brought up in the new policy, they're just like, I'm not talking about it. Because right now that's not their concentration, right now their concentration is getting better and gelling as a team and learning the playbook. So the only people that are harping on the National Anthem are politicians, fans, and media, because what else are they going to talk about? There's nothing really to talk about now, except for me. So I'm a diehard fan. I know what to talk about. The players and what they're doing today. Damn it. He said he's one of the best safeties in the league. I think he's top five best safety in the league. Um, he wants to retire a Finn, which made me really happy. Uh, you know, if he plays for another three years at the level he's playing and then he decides to retire, yeah, I could see him retiring as a, as a Finn, a Dolphin. And I want to, the last thing I want to tell you about Rashad Jones uh, press conferences. I want to read you something he said. Uh, he said, I love to be here. I love Miami. I love the fans. I was definitely blessed to be drafted to one of the teams I wanted to play for, which is always a plus. When you are a college uh, player coming out to the draft and you have a team that's your favorite team from growing up. Like if I was, if I didn't get hurt, I used to play football. If I didn't get hurt and I continued my course on football um, and then, you know, I ended up being drafted, like not the first round, I wasn't that good, but I ended up being drafted by the Miami Dolphins, I would be ecstatic and I would bust my ass 20,000 times harder because I don't want to not be on the Dolphins. So the fact that he got drafted to the team that he was a fan of is just a plus and it shows because he is one of the best safeties in the league. Finally, let's talk about Raekwon McMillan. First thing he says, he says he feels good standing up again with no limitations, which tell me about it because it looks great to see you standing up and actually playing football. It makes me so warm in my heart. I'm not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. Uh, he said that he met with uh, Frank Gore and Ryan Tannehill and just essentially talked about like rehabbing uh, his ACL and they gave him advice not to think about it you know, about the ACL injury, just play, you know, don't baby it and all that stuff because then you will take a wrong step and you you will do something bad and hurt yourself. He also joked that this is his rookie and a half season um, because he essentially was in training camp with the Dolphins and uh, was ready to play the first preseason game and then got injured. So he did do like all of the other stuff and he knows the playbook and stuff so he said, calls it his rookie and a half season. The funny story that he told was that he got in, he was out at the movies and he got in trouble because when he saw that Baker got drafted to the Dolphins he instantly wanted to call him and people were shushing him and yelling at him because he's in the movies but he said he had to because he was the one who recruited Baker to Ohio State and now they're both on the Dolphins so it, it it's great to hear that because they're gonna have that chemistry that they could play off each other, kind of like I was talking about with the safeties, where they don't even have to say what to do, you know, it's just they, they know it already, so it's great to hear. And then he mentioned that him and Tannehill both got their surgery on the same day, and both returned to camp on the same day, so they had this like competition about like who's getting better quicker, and they would uh, see each other and see, like, see whose calves got bigger and stuff, so that's a funny competition. But he said that Tannehill was uh, way ahead of him because Tannehill wasn't afraid of the pain, whereas McMillan was kind of scared of the pain of the rehabilitation. And then I wanna read you something that he said about being a leader, uh, essentially when it comes to being a middle linebacker and a leader. He said, leader isn't the title you get because you're the middle linebacker, Mike linebacker. Leader is the title you get because you put the work in, which, I love that mentality because he was drafted to be the starting middle linebacker and he is going in there thinking, well, just because I was drafted with a high pick, does it mean that I instantly start? He wants to earn that starting position and he wants to earn the respect of the defense because he's the one who's calling out the plays, shifting, 
uh, the D-line, and just doing everything. He's the field general. He's the quarterback on the defensive side. So, in a whole, that was the press conference for the four players today after the OTAs. Uh, like I said before, obviously there was no, uh, it wasn't open to the media, so I can't tell you, like let, like yesterday, who caught what and who did what and who did this. But essentially, uh, give you an idea where these players' heads are at. Uh, they all sound really great. They all sound like they want to be leaders in this locker room. So we got that unity and that, you know, gelling of the players right now. But again, it's third days of the OTAs, so it could change come like November if the season's going shittily and the team is just losing because that's when they start bickering and fighting and that's when the true you know leaders come out but that's all for today tomorrow i'm going to put out a video about why you shouldn't be um excited for the dolphins 2018 season for all the people that hated my why you should be optimistic for the 2018 season well i got something for you tomorrow but other than that like usual go follow me on twitter right here um, I tweet things all the time. I also tweet and let you guys be updated on videos. Go check out my second channel, uh, BitBoys. Um, put videos out Monday through Friday. Hilarious. Have a blast with that. And like usual, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Um, you guys are doing awesome with the comments. I love answering your comments. Also, the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. Um, and other than that, like usual, Fins up. It just makes me pumped that four of the dudes on that are going to be starting, well not starting because Jakeem Graham won't start, but four of the dudes on our offensive weapons are fast as shit. The whole team is getting fast. Very happy. Why am I crying so much? And then finally he said he doesn't feel like he was used wrong in Kansas City. He just